Hey guys, welcome back to the Comic Book Lowdown. I'm Wellington, bringing you guys my pool week video for this week's books. Um, I got five books to review from this week. Uh, all pretty good. Um, nothing too bad or anything like that. Uh, so that's cool. And so I guess I will just get started with my books. Uh, first book, oh, before I get started, actually, uh, as you guys know, if or those of you who are familiar with my videos know, and if you're new, I review my books from least like to pick the week, and there are timestamps down below to fast forward to any specific review you want to see. So, on that note, let's get started with the first book being Green Arrow, issue 34. Um, this is the final issue to this broken storyline. <laughs> haven't really remembered much of the storyline besides that Diggle came back and uh, it's after Ollie's coming back from, you know, the islands and things like this, fighting the Outsiders War, and he comes back to Seattle uh, to see that Red Dragon has kind of taken over and Diggle's trying to fight Red Dragon. Ollie gets into the mix. Uh, Red Dragon recruits the Count or uh, Count Vertigo um, to kind of uh, be his right hand man and kind of tear stuff up um, and yeah it's pretty much just a storyline to really get Ollie and Diggle together uh, in this book to introduce Diggle into the main Green Arrow title so the new writing team new creative team who are the Arrow writers can jump onto this book um, and take it from issue 35. New creative team. So I don't know if uh, if it's going to be Sorrentino on art anymore. Uh, I might pick up the first issue of the new run. It I, It's looking like we're going to get some different, a different approach to the book. It's kind of been on a low for me. If I don't, if I'm not completely, like, wowed by the first or by the next issue, and I'm talking I have to be, like, very much impressed, excited for the next issue, not I thought it was good, uh, it, it can stay. It's got to, like, get me excited for the next issue. Um, then I'll drop the book. Because, uh, again, the, the storyline, the storylines aren't even memorable. I, or make me care for them really so but altogether the book was not bad um it was just i could see right through the story so that's kind of why i can i'm giving it a bad rep but anyways that's green arrow issue number 34 uh next books are now all marvel um and this book is the superior spider-man issue 32 Yes, Superior Spider-Man is back. This issue is supposed to be taking place 